We live in a society where news stories are available on the web within minutes, and video content on just about any topic imaginable is available at the click of a button. So if you fancy making videos for the world to see, then the easiest way to do this is by making your very own video blog. Now, creating your own video blog isn't as hard as you might think. All you need is a video camera, some editing software, and a website to post it on. So here's the simple gadget show guide to creating an online video blog. Now don't worry if you haven't already got a camcorder or one built into your mobile phone because there are plenty of cheap ones available on the market. I'm using the Flip Video camcorder and it stalls up to about 60 minutes worth of footage on its internal hard drive and comes with this handy USB connection so you can easily connect it to your laptop or computer and drag and drop the footage. Now the next thing you need to think about is the subject of your video blog, what you're going to film and how and where you're going to film it. Yesterday I went to a product launch in London so I decided to take my Flip to capture all the funky gadgets. I film loads of cool stuff, too much in fact. I've got nearly an hour's worth of footage on here which is way too much for a short video blog, so I need to edit it. There are loads of video editing packages on the market but they can be pretty pricey. With a bit of hunting round you can find trial software such as Magic's Movie Edit Pro which is free for 30 days. Alternatively, Windows Movie Maker is pre-installed on both Windows XP and Vista and it's really straightforward and user friendly. So that's what I'm going to use to edit my blog. Once you've chosen your editing software, you need to import your footage so you can start working with it. My camera is plugged in, I just need to transfer the footage into Windows Movie Maker. It all appears here on screen, and you simply drag the clip you want onto the timeline, and then you can start editing. It's so easy to use, just cut out all the bits and pieces that you don't want, like on this clip which is far too long. There are heaps of other tools and features you can use too. You can add effects such as fades and dissolves in between clips and you can even add music to make your video look extra professional. So when you've finished your masterpiece, you just need to find somewhere to post it. There are hundreds of sites that are dedicated to video blogs so it's important that you find the right site for your subject. Your instructional cocktail making video won't get many hits on a football site. I've gone for the world famous YouTube. You need to create an account which takes a couple of minutes and then simply follow the on-screen instructions to get your video up. Make sure you tag your video correctly so people can find it easily and the more information you put up the more likely it is that your video will appear at the top of the search. So there you have it, video blogging is really fun and simple to do. 